Hey guys, what is up? Mist here with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play PS1 games on any Android device. If you guys have a decent Android box or Android phone, you will be able to run PS1 games smoothly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install, set it up, configure, and run it. Stay tuned. To all my new viewers out there, if you guys are not yet subscribed, just look below the video, click on the red subscribe button, and then click the little notification bell so you guys will get notified for all future videos for everything I post. It's going to be great. You're going to be first to hear about all the new APKs, add-ons, and much, much more. Okay, guys. This emulator is probably not going to run smoothly on... Fire TV sticks or those generic Chinese boxes that have like 1 gig of RAM, 8 gigs of storage. You will need a lot of storage because the game sometimes are huge, sometimes going up to 500 megabytes or higher or even up to a gig or a couple gigs. Games like Final Fantasy, um, you know, um, Legend of Dragoon, those big RPG games and the ones that are multiple discs do take up a lot of space. I'm currently showing you this on a Mi Cool m Pro L which is 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage, which has more than enough. If you guys do have a powerful box that doesn't have enough storage, you could put in like an SD card or USB stick and sideload the games off to that and play it off there. That would work as well. So once you guys know what this is compatible for, let's go ahead and get started. First, you need file linked. To get this, I will leave a link down in the description below. Use an app like Downloader or put it into your browser. Once you go ahead and launch it, use this code, which is 23119623. Click on Continue. Once you click on Continue, it's going to go ahead and bring it to the screen. Click on Dismiss. Go ahead and scroll down here. Look for EPSXE version 2.0.8. This is the cracked version of the paid APK. Click on Download. It's going to go ahead and start downloading. Once it downloads, click on the play button again and click on install. Now once it's installed, um, this is just the emulator so you can't really play games. Um, the best method I think to have games is, is the easiest method is use an app here called ROM Buddy PSX. Now guys, uh, just a disclaimer, you may only, you are only allowed using this APK and download ROMs if you already own the games. I'm just trying to tell you that straight up. Let's go ahead and download it here, click on play, click on install. There are lots of places to get ROMs from but this is the app that works uh, the best. And make sure you only download the ROMs if you actually own the games please. Now click on back and click on yes, go top right, click on delete to uh, go ahead and actually delete the uh, all the installers because you don't really need the installers always running on uh, your device. It takes a lot of space. Now you need one more thing, something called the BIOS file because this emulator is not going to run unless you have the BIOS file. So let's go ahead and launch an app like ES File Explorer. Now guys, once you have uh, ES File Explorer opened up, put in this link which I will leave down in the description below. Once you put it in, hit OK. Then it'll be brought to this Mediafire link. Go ahead and click on Download. Then you want to do Open Folder. So guys, once you're in the Download Folder, you'll be noticed that it's in a .zip format. So go ahead and click on it. Choose ES Zip Viewer. Click on Always. You'll see this .bin file. Press and hold on it. Click on Extract, and you can go ahead and choose where you want to browse it to. Let's say, for example, choose Path, and let's put it in uh, the Downloads folder. So hit Download, hit OK, and then hit OK. Now I'll go ahead and, bra and extract the .bin file into the Download folder. You have to know where you save this file because you're going to need it to configure your emulator. So, let's go ahead inside the emulator. Once you've launched it, you have to go to Preferences and click on BIOS File. This is where you have to browse to that bin file. So, 
go to download here it is here's a .bin, .bin file and for the settings this is the best one that I personally like so for the simulated BIOS do emulated disabled for this for the frame skip uh, you can choose to show the FPS if you want for troubleshooting purposes uh, times one for the overclock uh, screen ratio basically it, it depends on what you prefer the default um, PS1 uh, screen ratio is 4 by 3 which is how most PS1 games are made uh, 32 for the screen color depth um, and the rest are pretty I left all of the default so you really don't need to play around it's just the first couple of settings you probably need to, ch you need to change, change around with uh, if you go to run game and then go to the top right you can click on the rescan it'll basically rescan and look for any sort of PS1 games if you guys don't have any games it's really really simple to get them let's go ahead here and try to get one game to show you as a test let's go ahead and launch the PS1 uh, ROM buddy and you guys don't have to don't actually have to use this APK you can use um, anything to get you can use like online websites or whatever basically go ahead and search for a ROM or click on this list and once you choose on click on download it's going to go ahead and start downloading it it's going to put it in the default location for your path and then you can go ahead and basically rescan the um, emulator and it's going to go ahead and find games so you basically go ahead and click on it here click on run a game you choose the game that you want and it's going to go ahead and start playing it's basically that simple guys uh, it's really really simple to get PS1 games you want to guys have fun and play PS1 games if you guys want to want me to show you how to get more emulators in the future like SNES, NES, whatever let me know interest down in the description below and I will do it in the next video and there you guys have it if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns let me know down in the comment section below don't forget to follow me on Twitter and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.